Hello people, in this video we want to look at circumcision, the indications, okay? So basically what is the, the spelling? Circum, C, Shin, okay? C I S I O N. Do not mix up the S and C. It is a C C C. See here? Sir, come, C, Shin. Three C's are coming, then S is coming, okay? Circumcision. So basically, what is circumcision, guys? It is the removal of the preputial skin, okay? Is there any other definition? It can just be said as removal of the foreskin okay this is the procedure removal of the foreskin so this is circumcision we are in this video to know why it is done isn't it what are the indications basically okay so let us look at the indications of circumcision so here are the indications so basically you should know that it, it's a treatment for phimosis phimosis or hymosis it is basically a treatment for this condition where the person is in the he is not able to retract the prepucial skin okay so when he is not able to retract it, what will you do? You are going to remove that skin. So they are talking about skin. They are calling it as skin. Okay. So what will you write in the exam? Pre-pucial skin. P-U-C-I-A-L. Is it P-U-T-I-A-L-C-I-A-L. Sometimes T, sometimes C they are writing. So anyways, pre-pucial skin or the foreskin. Okay. If he cannot retract, that is phimosis, then they are uh, going to treat phimosis with this uh, circumcision. Okay. Then paraphimosis uh, also they can treat. But what is paraphimosis? In this what happens, the retracted skin cannot be pulled forward. So it went back is fine, but it is not able to come forward. So what happens in this condition? There can be a constriction ring. Okay. So there will be a tight tightness here, constriction ring. And what can this lead to? This can lead to venous congestion. Okay. So this will, uh, as this congestion increases, the glands swells up resulting in paraphimosis. So this is what uh, again in this condition where you are not able to bring it back that time they are removing it. So this is paraphimosis. So did you get at least uh, uh, two indications? Treatment for phimosis, treatment for paraphimosis. Two indications you got right guys, medical indications. We are not talking about religious etc. That is not coming under medicine right. We are talking about medicine. In medicine what are we talking about? You want to treat some conditions like phimosis, para phimosis okay so these are conditions that have already happened and then you are trying to treat them okay then coming to the other ones here balanitis balanopostitis so what are these uh, terminologies do you know what these are balanitis balanopostitis let's look at this first understand the parts this is glands or balanus okay and here you have the prepus what they are showing here this is the prepus which color shall we use this one? This is the skin, the prepuce, right? So if there is inflammation of the glands, balanitis, if there is inflammation of the prepuce, what will it be? Postitis, P for P. Prepuce, postitis, glands, balanitis. Glands is also called as balanus, they have written here, right? So you can guess balanitis. So inflammation of these two, if it is there, then again you will consider removing the foreskin so what is it called you're you're doing circumcision so let's write it this way inflammation of the glands is balanitis inflammation of the prepuce is postitis so remember this is uh, glands balanitis so balano is coming first so glands and postitis is for the prepuce in inflammation okay so let's copy this information apparently if somebody has diabetes they will have this okay Inflammation of glands and prepuce, balanitis, balanopostitis. Then, if you want to uh, treat early carcinoma, treatment of early carcinoma, that is carcinoma of what? Penis. Treat early carcinoma of prepuce or glands penis. So, uh, this is what is another treatment this is, right? Of carcinoma. So, another treatment it is. And then, in certain sexually transmitted diseases like herpes, it is indicated. But is it given as a, once this disease comes or before it comes? This is very, um, uh, having limited data, right guys. Basically, they are saying here that it can help prevent and recur. So, if a person has already had it, then it can stop. Okay. I mean, the chances are low. So, basically for herpes, they are talking about it. So, uh, this is actually very limited data available. 
for this. So, what are the uh, indications for circumcision you have understood in this uh, video, right? What are the indications, guys? Religious is not actually a medical indication, so we should not be writing it here. But anyways, you will write it because you will get lot of requests for it, which is not um, apparently a medical indication, isn't it? So, what are the indications you should know? Uh, treat conditions like carcinoma penis, phimosis, paraphimosis, belanitis, belanopostitis. So, you want to treat all these conditions. So, basically after these conditions occur only, we will talk about them. Then, it's a treatment, do not forget. So, uh, early carcinoma, we told you, then uh, sexually transmitted diseases like uh, herpes, etc. Limited study available on the prevention and recurrence. Okay. So, phimosis, you understood where the person cannot retract the prepucial skin, right? That can be caused by so many conditions. Then, paraphimosis, where the, it has retracted but it's not going forward, there can be venous congestion. Then, belanopostitis, if there's inflammation of the glands or the uh, prepuce, then in CA uh, penis, they are telling that if it is a stage 1 treatment, uh, sorry, stage 1 carcinoma, then circumcision they are talking about. If it is uh, the the carcinoma is at the prepuce, it is confined to the prepuce, then circumcision. Then in stage 3 also they are talking about circumcision. So as a treatment for cancer they are talking about. It. Just see if you can solve this MCQ. Treatment of carcinoma penis which is confined to prepuce. It is confined. If it is confined to prepuce, what is the treatment you will give? Circumcision. Very good. Then, uh, when won't you do uh, circumcision? Some contraindications. Look at them. You should not do circumcision if there is hypospadias because these people will meet this skin, very important skin. This uh, uh, skin is very important for repairing this condition of hypospadias. What is hypospadias? Basically, in this, what happens in hypospadias? The uh, distal urethra is not developed. Okay. The external meatus of the urethra, that is the urethral meatus is situated under the surface of pe penis. That's why hypo, right? It is situated where? Under. Where it was supposed to be where? Under the penis, okay? So basically in this condition, they will need the prepucial skin. Prepucial, is that uh, For repair of hypospadias, okay? So, what exactly do they do with that skin? Look at this. When the child is 5 to 6 year old, reconstruction of the urethra is done using locally available skin either from the prepuce or from the penile shaft. This is called as urethroplasty. So, they will reconstruct the urethra. For this, they will need the skin, prepuce. Okay. So, this is called as what? For urethroplasty, they will need it. Circumcision should not be done in this condition. But we have seen a case in our uh, hospital where the uh, the child had circumcision done and then uh, they discovered that he has hypospadia, right? So, do not uh, jump into getting a circumcision. So, uh, circumcision is basically, um, what is it? It is the removal of the prepucial skin, uh, the surgical removal of the foreskin of the penis basically. Indications you want to treat phimosis, treat paraphimosis, treat belanitis, treat belanopostitis, treat early carcinoma of uh, prepuce of the or the glans penis to uh, prevent uh, certain sexually transmitted diseases they are saying or the recurrence of these. So, uh, re religious you will write but that is um, not what we write as medical indication. Okay. Just remember that medicine changes uh, with science and uh, with technology also. So, something that is uh, built up as a ritual need not be medically uh, necessary all the time, right? Okay, that's it for now guys. Bye-bye. Uh, but basically, what are the benefits of uh, uh, circumcision if done before itself? Circumcision done within one year of birth, right, um, will confer immunity against carcinoma penis. This is because the smegma cannot collect uh, and it will not cross uh, chronic irritation which can lead to carcinoma penis but please consider that it is somebody else's body isn't it so use your discretion bye bye